Let's have a look at the contenders. Vanessa Mashova of the Czech Republic, 15, and the reigning junior national champion two years in a row. Natalia Escalera of Mexico, seventh best in qualification. She has been a medalist at the Pacific, or the Pan American Championships, I should say. Kelly Nemour of Algeria, the reigning African all around champion and the World Championship silver medalist on the uneven bars. Then two gymnasts from the People's Republic of China, Hu Jiafei and Zhang Yihan, two uh, new seniors, Georgia Rose Brown of uh, New Zealand, sixth best in qualification. Aliona Tsitsavets, independent neutral athlete, 15, new to the senior international scene. Mylis Brassa of Belgium, fifth best in qualification. Samir Aid Said will be first to go in the men's rings final, second best in qualification. Vincent Herk of Austria, the sixth best in qualifying and a European Championship medalist. Chong Yong Il of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, eighth best in qualifying, but the winner in Cairo last week. Arta Avatissian of Armenia, fifth best in qualification. A World Universities champion. Nikita Simonov of Azerbaijan, top performer in qualification, followed by Vahagan Davatian of Armenia, fourth best in qualifying. Courtney Tulloch of Great Britain, seventh best in qualification, two-time Commonwealth Games champion. His teammate Harry Hepworth in as the first reserve. The uh, British gymnast is in uh, due to the withdrawal of Madi Ahmad Kohani of Iran, who was the third best in the preliminary round. finalists in the women's uneven bars competition. The top performer in qualification, unsurprisingly, Kelia Nemour of Algeria. Recently turned 17. A silver medalist from the World Championships in Antwerp and the owner of one of the greatest routines in gymnastics in the world at the moment. And I don't just mean in the uneven bars, one of the greatest in any form of gymnastics. The rings finalists in Cottbus, top qualifier Nikita Simonov of Azerbaijan scored 14.6 in the preliminary round. There is definite potential for others to challenge that score like Zhong Leong Il of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. He was the eighth best in qualifying but one in Cairo to kick off this World Cup qualification cycle. Again, just to remind you, two qualification berths available on each apparatus for Paris 2024. Not everybody is attempting to qualify for the games through this route. Only the gymnasts who are not part of a team that's already qualified are even eligible for this. And there are other gymnasts who've already secured a named qualification place that may have been through the all-around competition at the last World Championships or as one of the apparatus qualifiers. And in the case of the Americas, the continental qualification spots have also been allocated after the Pan American Games in Santiago. Still, there is some way to go before we have that full list of names for Paris 2024. In the case
case of a gymnast like Kylian Moore. She has already earned a named qualification spot from the World Championships as an all-arounder. She performed excellently there, finishing eighth at her debut World Championships. times for not just fans but for teammates of gymnasts for the coaching staff for their friends and their family who've been with them on this journey and in the case of some of them like him Samir Ait Said a journey that's had its fair share of ups and downs and that has gone on for years and years Here we go then with Sami Aid Said of France. 34 from about 12 kilometers from the city center of Paris. He was fifth in Cairo and he would love nothing more than to go to his home Olympiad. Goes up into the planche position. Drops low and then up into Maltese, showing good control. Nice handstand, very steady. Yamawaki Yonason combination into a Maltese. Quite level looking in the Iron Cross. Flicker on the handstand. Can he hold the landing? That's very good from Samir Ayed Said. Very good. Oh, what he's been through. What he's come back from. An appalling injury at the Olympiad in Rio. He knows better than most what it is to recover from something like that he is himself a physiotherapy graduate and he carried the flag for his nation at the opening ceremony of tokyo 2020 and as somebody who is an enormous fan of martial arts he's a very good uh, kickboxer and practitioner of brazilian jiu-jitsu it meant a huge amount to him to carry that flag with clarissa bonyanu one of the uh, finest judoka in the world. It would mean the world to him if he could get to his home Olympic Games. Fourteen point six 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 is up by just over a tenth from qualification. Strong beginning that, when you consider the top qualifier was 14.6. We go to Vanessa Mashova of the Czech Republic. Uses the uh, Stolda Shaposhnikova with a half turn. up for the uh, straddle Jaeger somersault and into the pack salto a lot about that was very promising from this 
15-year-old from Brno, the second city of the Czech Republic. She's been a dominant force nationally at junior level for a couple of years now. Didn't make any finals in Cairo in her senior international debut. Now she is a World Cup finalist for the first time. Some of her swingfulness just loses its form here and there. At other times, it's very crisp. She is a work in progress as a gymnast, but a very promising work in progress. And it's always a big moment for an athlete when they get into the first international final at senior level of their careers. And events like the new Junior World Championships really help to bridge that gap as the score of 13.4 comes in. Almost the same as qualification and that's a great accomplishment to go out there and be consistent from qualifying to a final at that age. Vincent Herk of Austria, 27, competed at his eighth World Championships in Antwerp last year. He was sixth in the rings final. Didn't have the result he wanted in Cairo. He was ninth. What a nice level shoulder presentation. Such strength going up into the Maltese as well. Good symmetry, Jonas and Yamawaki combination. Again, he's got the uh, shoulder position just right. He does flicker, doesn't he, a little? handstand that's quite a big step forward unfortunately as he lands Vincent's hook such an accomplishment when he got onto the European podium in 2020 the first Austrian to do that since 1955 you just wonder about the cost of the dismount for Herc. The uh, Jonasson to uh, Yamawaki was very nice. And he's piked, bent in the midsection as he lands. Step forward is substantial 14.166 for Vincent Herc the pressure on all of these athletes is enormous the margins are so fine and you'd have to be the stoniest of hearted people not to have sympathy with them when it doesn't go in their favour no matter who it is you're supporting, no matter who you hope wins. Natalia Escalera of Mexico is next. She's been a Pan American Championship medalist on the uneven bars. Pike Jaeger, good strength to go back up to handstand. To the Kachev straight to a pack salto. And then puts in the King of Somersaults as well. So a lot of release moves in this display from Escalera. She really does hit that dismount. Wow. 
Good work from the 21-year-old. 7th best in qualification, 13.566. There's a lot going on in this display from Natalia Escalera. Uses variations of the uh, Shaposhnik of a transition to good effect. Sometimes she was a little shy of handstand. Pike work was nice in the Jaeger somersault. And she wraps tightly into the tuck position, opening out with security. Thirteen point four. Second place, Mashava leads on the execution tiebreak. Player difficulty, 5.9 from Escalera. We go to Jong Ryong Il of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. 33 from Pyongyang, the capital city. And he was fourth at the Asian Games last year, having finished eighth in Jakarta Palembang in 2018. And that was such a disappointment to him because he was the top qualifier all those years ago. This is the man who won in Cairo. It's a difficult skill and he's really well aligned in that inverted cross. Got a small amount of yawing of the rings. Good level looking Maltese. Oh, he really hit that landing, didn't he? Zhong Liang Il came in as the eighth strongest in qualification, but always had the potential to do a lot better. He's not somebody that we have seen a great deal of at all internationally, as is always the case with the gymnasts from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. He's yet to compete at world championship level. Absolutely thumped that landing. This should score rather nicely. 14.433, that's a lot better than qualification, almost a third of a mark higher. And he's in second place. Now to one of life's great pleasures, watching this routine. Kelly Namur of Algeria, top qualifier, the World Championship silver medalist last year. Brilliant, that innovative opening of hers. Everything so connected. The fluidity. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. That dismount, the double layout to finish, just stunning. Many times we've broken this routine down into its component parts, but actually it's the whole of it that is so impressive. This is one of the greatest demonstrations when you watch this routine of how to master physics, of how to work gravity in your favor. 
She doesn't fight against momentum, she uses it. It's brilliant. And you've got lovely skills in there, like the uh, Ejeva. But isn't that the tidiest, tidiest of landings? It doesn't have to be as high as qualification for her to still be the overwhelming favourite to win this. And it was hugely high in qualification, 15.433. She said that if she had the opportunity to take a photograph with any one in the world right now it would be the French uh, Algerian social media star Lena Situation. The more we see gymnastics like that, the more it'll be Lena Situation asking to have a photograph with her. Because she's becoming an absolute world favourite in gymnastics at the moment. Algeria's Kelly Nemour. She has the unusual distinction, Nemour, of having won medals at the African Championships, the Mediterranean Championships, and the Arab Championships. She's done exactly as she did in qualification but in a different way the difficulty is up by one tenth to a 7.0 it's a whopping great number and she is the real deal Arta Avatissian of Armenia on the rings He was fourth in Cairo. Another gymnast for whom this is an enormous, enormous routine in his quest to go to Paris. He really is doing well. If he can make this dismount tidy, then it will be a good number. It's just a question of how secure he can be in the landing. Because it really is going to go down to fine margins. He is very secure in the landing. Arto Avatissian of Armenia. to appreciate the angle there as he moves up into the planche position. Twists round neatly into that landing. Steely looking man at the end of that. And then he breaks into a grin. Yes, well done to him. 14.566. Second place for Arta Avatissian behind Samir Ayed Said by a single tenth. 
Well, we go to the last performance of the first half of the women's uneven bars final. It's Hu Jiafei from the People's Republic of China. Seventeen-year-old, an international debutant, but the silver medalist at the Chinese Championships at the end of last year. Ooh. Well, that's such an unfortunate moment for her. Just <laughs> went wrong in the swing. to plan for Hu Jiafei and you can in a situation like this only imagine what she feels as somebody new to this kind of stage new to international competition there are moments in that routine where you see what a super young gymnast she is they were only moments today but if you can get onto the podium at the national championships in the People's Republic of China, you're a great young gymnast. That is not up for debate. And slipping off the apparatus. And sometimes problems create problems. Just affect an athlete and then the things that they have done so well so consistently time after time become second guessed in their mind the confidence drops a little it's not for us to say what was in her mind during that routine but what we can do is sympathize with her because it can't have been easy Watching on from in the arena and uh, analysing things for the live crowd is Kim Boy, who knows just about all there is to know about the uneven bars and gymnastics at large. And Kim Boy will know that that sort of thing has happened to her before. And she'll remember the early days of her career, and what it feels like to be on the international stage for the first time and how you go away from it and reflect and refine and regroup, and do all of the things that elite athletes do so that next time is a little better. is from Guangdong province right on the southeast coast of the People's Republic of China and it was so impressive when she won that silver medal on the uneven bars at the Chinese individual championships last year because it was the first time she'd been on the podium at senior level nationally
is a long one here for this score to be calculated for Hu Chaofei. Still to come, we've got the second halves of the women's uneven bars and men's rings finals. And tomorrow we have the women's beam and floor exercise and the men's vault, parallel bars and horizontal bar to finish our coverage. score is 9.8 for Hu Jiafei. We remind ourselves that this is a gymnast who is new to the senior international stage. I wish her good luck for whatever the next steps are and the next international assignments. Meanwhile, the warm-ups taking place for the competitors who are seeking to get onto that podium, Kelly Nimore is well and truly ahead by over two marks of Vanessa Mashova and Natalia Escalera. Mashova ahead of Escalera on the execution tiebreak. And over on the rings, it's quite close. We have Nikita Simonov to come for Hagen Davtian, Courtney Tulloch, Harry Hepworth. A lot to go. This is a very significant routine coming up for Nikita Simonov. A real veteran waiting for his chance. Silver medalist in Cairo for Hagen Davtian. Nikita Simonov of Azerbaijan, top qualifier, 14.6. He was sixth in Cairo. This is the gymnast who won the World Cup title on rings last year. Started very smoothly. This is looking good value to move up towards the top of the leaderboard. Dismount coming up in terms of his qualification hopes, and it's a very secure one. Nikita Simonov of Azerbaijan. 
He was fifth in the world in Antwerp at the end of last year. And he does lead Nikita Simonov 14.7. Goes ahead of Samir Ayed Said. Big result for him in terms of qualification for Paris. Now to Zhang Yihan. The People's Republic of China have qualified a women's team to the Games. So for gymnasts like Zhang Yan, who's only 16, this is more about her own development as an international athlete. Oh. Going for the layout Jaeger somersault. Didn't quite make it, but wasn't a million miles away. She has been a junior national champion on this piece. the younger of the two Chinese competitors in this final. The uh, nicely executed uh, layout catch of it. That's the game a somersault perform well. Oh, it's a very fine dismount. Lots of really good components in that display from Zhang Yihan. Some very interesting skill selection too. Some release moves in the uh, layout position. This is the layout Jaeger somersault early on. And she employs a, a hip circle layout uh, Kachev as well. We have the Kachev into the uh, pack Salto. And then twisting and tucking well for that dismount. She is from Henan province in the east of China, the third Largest of all of the uh, Chinese provinces by population, 99 million people. It is famous as the birthplace of Tai Chi, one of the most uh, widely practiced of all of the uh, Chinese martial arts that fall under the umbrella of Wushu. Again, we see the layout Jaeger at the start. Mm -hmm. 
13.6 is the score. She's in second place. Down by 0.9 from qualification. She does pick up an extra tenth of difficulty. Hagen Davtian of Armenia is next. Fourth in qualification and the uh, silver medalist in Cairo at the first World Cup qualification event. 35 now. And he was fourth at the World Championships last year. For him, it will come down to cleanliness more than difficulty, as is always the case. And his planch is lovely to start. He's a very graceful athlete on the rings. to Maltese to a well controlled iron cross gets nice height on his planche a little quest for stability in the handstand what about on the dismount that's a joy very good landing from Bahagan Davtian Always stylish. And he's been so dependable over the years. How lovely it would be for Armenian gymnastics if he could get to an Olympiad. He's done so much for the sport, not just as a competitor, but from a governance point of view. He's really at the heart of trying to improve sporting pathways for young people. He cares so much. Fourteen point six execution and difficulty both up a little from qualification. He's in the third place. So it is still Simonov. Now to New Zealand's Georgia Rose Brown. Formerly competed for Australia. Sixth best in qualification. Salto. Maloney to transition. Getting a somersault builds the power back up again. Very experienced athlete is uh, Georgia Rose Brown. Just recently celebrated her 29th birthday. Doctoral candidate in physiotherapy at the University of Melbourne. Five times a World Cup medalist on the uneven bars. Look back at the Ginga somersault. This Tawan Shaposhnikova, Maloney. Really attacks the Stolder work. Mm -hmm. 
was almost a decade ago that she won her first Commonwealth Games medal in Glasgow. Went on to win a couple more in the Gold Coast Games of 2018. She would love to add the Olympic Games to an extraordinary and long resume as an international gymnast. She has a score of 13.533. New Zealand's Georgia Rose Brown goes into the bronze medal position. Courtney Tulloch of Great Britain. He was eighth in Cairo, had real problems in the final, scoring 12.166, seventh best qualifier here. The reigning two-time Commonwealth Games champion on the rings. of precision so far. First of those we've seen, the Iron Cross with the legs brought fully up into the V position. very nice it's a good performance from Courtney Tulloch really strong work on the apparatus a small landing adjustment can he improve upon the 8.033 for execution that he posted in the preliminary round gymnast who has contributed so much to the teams at world and European championship level and Commonwealth Games level for England. Masses of strength required to do that and to make it look so composed, well it was so composed, Too huge an adjustment as he lands. 14.4, it's up from qualifying. By fewer than two tenths, he's in sixth place. Leona Titovitz, independent neutral athlete. 15-year-old who made her senior international debut in Cairo. And she looked very good in qualification here. It's the fourth best. Purposeful and swingful going into the Straddle Jaeger somersault. An exciting performance from a very young athlete. 
a new international senior, Aliona Tsitavitz. First time that she's made international finals. She gets good height in the straddle Jaeger. Really attacked it as well. So it's confident looking work from a young gymnast. Tidiness is not fully there yet in terms of the dismount. But her scoring qualification was 14.133. If she gets close to that, she goes into second place. And that's exactly as she's done. And that's a medal guaranteed for the senior debutant this season in her first ever World Cup final. Aliona Tsitavets has won a medal. And we finish on the rings with Harry Hepworth of Great Britain. ninth best in qualification he comes in as the first reserve after the withdrawal of Mati Ahmad Kohani of Iran but Hepworth was a finalist on rings at the world championships last year When you, as a team, have got somebody who can deliver this sort of profile of scores on floor vault and rings, it's a potential massive asset. Exciting, isn't it? Harry Hepworth, 20 from Cook Ridge in the northwest suburbs of Leeds. from an execution standpoint, so much more reliable of late. Point two, he's up by one tenth from qualification, goes into seventh place. So it is Simonov, 14.7, Ayd Saeed, 14.666, and Vahagan Davtian, 14.6, the podium. We finish with Miley Sprassa of Belgium, 13.666. In qualification, the fifth best. So there is potential for her to get onto the podium with Zhang Yihan of China, currently holding bronze on 13.6. So if Brassard does as she did in qualifying, she wins a medal. And it would be her first World Cup honours. Starts with the original Shaposhnikova. No sense of uh, flight in the back Salto. Now the Van Leeuwen. She dismounts well. Good routine from Miley Sprassa. 
who had a 5.7 difficulty score in the preliminary round. She didn't make the uneven bars final in Cairo. The Belgians had a very tough time of things at their home world championships in Antwerp on the women's side of things with uh, some big injury absences. Didn't manage to qualify uh, a full team. Thirteen point six is the current bronze medal holding score. It is Zhang Yihan of the People's Republic of China. Above that, Eliona Sitavets. And uh, there is uh, Brassard changing the leaderboard for her first World Cup honours, the Belgian. Thirteen point seven. Her score, it's up a fraction from qualifying and it's good enough to earn a place on the podium. The classified results in the women's uneven bars competition, Algeria's Kelly and Moore with a 7.0 difficulty score, taking the title ahead of senior debutant this year, Aliona Tsidavets of the independent neutral athletes, Maëlys Brassard of Belgium winning the bronze medal. On the rings, Arminius Verhagen Davtian takes the bronze medal. Sami Aid Said of France wins silver. And Nikita Simonov of Azerbaijan is the champion. The victory ceremony for the women's uneven bars competition at the Compass 2024 World Cup of Artistic Gymnastics part of the Paris 2024 qualification process. <laughs> Mylis Brassard of Belgium, the bronze medalist. Aliona Tsidavets, independent neutral athlete, the winner of the silver medal, a very impressive display from the 15-year-old. But frankly, from the moment that she landed, this one felt done and dusted to Kelly Namor of Algeria. World Championship silver medalist last year in Antwerp. Already a qualifier for the Olympic Games, courtesy of the all-around competition in Antwerp last year. But just further establishing her credentials as one of the absolute finest uneven bars performers in the world. And we will now have the national anthem of Algeria.
a history-making moment in World Cup Artistic Gymnastics as we hear Kassaman. We pledge the national anthem of Algeria. It was written by Mufti Zakaria and Mohamed Fauzi in 1962. It was adopted as the national anthem in that year when Algeria gained its independence from France. victory ceremony for the men's still rings competition in Cottbus at the World Cup in what is shaping up to be a fascinating Olympic qualification pathway. The winner of the bronze medal is Arminius Vahagen Davtian. A veteran once again performing at the highest level. On the subject of which, Samir Ait Said of France. A brilliant display from him. Dreaming of a home games. One of the most resilient gymnasts out there. And Nikita Simonov of Azerbaijan is the champion. And he's won it marginally. One tenth of a mark separating the top three. A classic rings final. And for Simonov, a great result after finishing only sixth in Cairo. And we will hear now the national anthem of Azerbaijan. Look at what it means to Nikita Simonov. There they are, the medalists in the rings competition at the FIG World Cup in Cottbus. And that brings to a close our coverage on this, the first day of competition in Cottbus with five more finals to come tomorrow.